Cool. Now let's discuss the current status of the fishery at Lake Robertson. In the spring of 2016, biologists with the department did an electrofishing survey uh, at Lake Robertson where they uh, electrofished around the perimeter of the lake at nighttime and they collected 201 bass in this one survey. The majority of bass collected were greater than 12 inches as you can see and uh, there were six fish greater than 20 inches in length. How does the bass size structure compare to previous years you may ask? You can see that the bass population has remained fairly consistent over the years. This bass population Robertson is balanced meaning very healthy anytime this proportion of uh, fish over 12 inches is between 40 and 70. As for relative abundance of largemouth bass, you can see that bass numbers are up above average over the past four to five years. This is due to the consistent spawning success and recruitment of young bass into the population, like these young a year largemouth bass seen here. On average, it takes a bass five growing seasons to reach 12 inches in length, and between six and seven years to reach 15 inches in length. This is very good growth and is quite comparable to other reservoirs in northwestern Virginia. As we mentioned earlier, Lake Robertson is known for producing large sunfish. As you can see in this spring 2016 electrofishing survey, the majority of bluegill that biologists collected were greater than seven inches in length. High numbers of quality bluegill indicate that the predator population, in this case being largemouth bass, is quite healthy and the amount of aquatic vegetation is being properly maintained. The department hopes that you decide to make a trip to Lake Robertson one day, and while we cannot guarantee that the fish will be biting when you get there, we hope that you will have an enjoyable experience. For more information on Lake Robertson, please visit these websites.